Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about two types of research methods. Quantitative research and qualitative research. The type of data you collect will be determined by whether your research is qualitative or quantitative. Quantitative means objective measurement and qualitative means subjective belief. Let's talk about quantitative research method. This method measures quantifiable things which can be measured using different methods. For example, length, quantity, etc. As they are objective data, we cannot argue with them. For example, the weight of this person is 60 kg. The distance from Sydney to Melbourne is 877 km. Sydney has a population of 5.26 million and Melbourne has a population of 4.98 million. These are all quantifiable and have certain value, so we cannot argue with them. Now let's talk about why quantitative data is important. Because it helps to make less opinion-based decisions and it helps to reach to final conclusion easily. Let's look at this first research question. You want to choose two logos to find out which one is better. You conduct a meeting in your company. However, meeting is inconclusive and people were biased towards one or the other. To solve this problem, you decided to conduct a survey among 100 people and found that logo A is liked by 75% of the people. Now, it is much easier to decide on which logo is better because 75% of the people liked logo A over logo B. And 75% is a quantifiable number. Again, let's look at this second research question. You want to check whether a product is outdated or not. You think the product is not very popular nowadays. However, this is an assumption. Until you test your assumption, you do not know. So, you send out the survey in the market and 80% of people think that the product is outdated and they do not use this product anymore. This type of data is difficult to argue against. However, you can also question the quantitative data if data collection methodologies are not very good. For example, in the second research question, you only asked people of age 20 to 30 years old whether they feel product is outdated or not. In this case, you are going to get skewed data which can be questionable because they are young people and they are likely to use new products. If you had used different groups of people, for example, young, middle-aged and old people, you may have gotten different results. Now, let's take a look at qualitative research method. Qualitative method measures subjective data which include opinions, beliefs. As they are subjective, they are very difficult to defend sometimes. For example, you might prefer Melbourne over Sydney because Melbourne is culturally rich. As you can see here, this is an opinion made by you which may not be true for another person. Although qualitative data is difficult to defend, why do we still do qualitative research then? Because qualitative data can do something that quantitative data cannot do. They can provide you underlying reasons and provide answers to why. Let's go back to our previous example of product and take a look at some of the answers we received in our survey. Many participants said they don't like this product anymore because product is expensive. While other participants said they don't like this product because the company is not locally based. Now we have found two distinct patterns here, one product being expensive and other company being outsider. Let's take a look at the first one where people said product is expensive. Now we can start asking other questions such as, how many people think that product is expensive? What is the age group of people in this category? Where do they live? What is their average income? There are a lot of things which are debatable here. However. If we can back them up with proper evidence, then we can come up with a solid conclusion. Therefore, we need to use both qualitative and quantitative method to make good decision. In any research, quantitative data provides framework to the idea and then observation we made using qualitative data will provide explanation behind those ideas as shown in our product example. That's it for today guys, please like and share our videos. And subscribe to our channel for more useful content like this. We will see you again in next video. Until then, watch We Inspire and keep inspiring.